setting up your workstation is important. So I have gone ahead, you can see here, and put down a piece of paper. You can also just do a plastic tablecloth. You could do some foil, anything to protect the tables or the space that you're gonna be creating on. You are gonna be working with acrylic paints. These will wash off your hands, but they could stain your clothing. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful. Maybe throw on an old t-shirt, or if you've got an apron lying around, then you can go ahead and, and put that on. When you open your paints, you may wanna give them a little shake just beforehand, just in case the paint has kind of settled in shipping. And then to open them, I hold this bottom base and then grab this top tab and you're gonna pull up. You do wanna be careful because some of the paint, again, in shifting from packaging may kind of just fall out ever so slightly. Parents, this may be something that you wanna do and not the kiddos. So you can open those paint pods and then same here, you're gonna have your rainbow color paints. You're also gonna have black and white that you can use for designs. And then the one that's marked with the green dot is your gloss, your shiny gloss that you're gonna use at the very, very end. Other things you're gonna need, remember you have your plate at the bottom of your box, so you will need that to mix paint. Grab a paper towel, napkin, something to keep nearby to clean the brushes and then just a cup or a bowl of clean water that you can use to rinse brushes. That's it, now we're set. Next, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you can make additional colors than just the ones you see here in this paint palette. 